This is Divine Solar Empress 333, and good morning. <clears throat> it is October 7th, and um, this reading is very significant. Um, this reading, I was guided to wear white. Um, I have my white hat on and white sweater. Um, this is ceremonial um, rituals. Um, I pulled out my flashcards, and at the top of my flashcards, like, I haven't shuffled yet. Um, actually, I haven't even meditated yet. Um, the anxiety about this. Um, top of the deck is Divine Protection. So, definitely Divine Holy Spirit ancestors, please protect us during this reading. But whoever you are, you have Divine Protection. Um... And the other one says night rituals. So somebody could be doing some type of night rituals. Um, it's ceremonial. Um, I was guided by spirit. Um, I thought about white um, ceremonial funeral. And I looked up on my tablet um, wearing white to a funeral. Um, what came to my mind was uh, recently um, the Beyonce video. Um, I forgot which one it was. I think it was Nile, the Nile. It, it, the one she did with the Lion King thing where she wore white and it was like a funeral. And I was looking up white to a funeral or ceremony. So I know there's something significant about that with this reading. Um, maybe these people do ceremonies or funerals or rituals in white. Um, but it's something very significant about white and ceremonies and top of the deck was night rituals and divine protection. So we're definitely, definitely in, in the area of what this is. Um, I brought out my, um, star seed Oracle deck because, um, whoever they're attacking or whatever rituals are doing against somebody, um, I kind of want to pull on um, who you are a little bit. And I have my ans uh, Egyptian ancestor, uh, I can't, ancestor um, oracle deck. Because I, I kind of want to pull on what this is. And I have my wisdom oracle. Um, it's, it's something ceremonial. Um, originally, I, I heard jar spells. So I was like jar spells um because i i had that download as well i wrote it on one of the cards and i don't know if it's going to come out or not but i know they've been doing um uh moon uh magic they've been doing stuff by the moon cycles i've been picking that up um uh, pretty much since i started my channel um attacking people through um the moon cycles and going through people's birth charts um to see what they what their inheritance is their um, what their north node represents, what they're supposed to do, their purpose, and um, could be a Pisces, um, possibly a high priestess. I heard high priestess, Libra behind it. Yeah, but um, it's some type of ceremony or it could even be a funeral um, that's about to transpire or something that they're doing. Um, it could even be doing some type of burial ritual. I have Scorpio, which, you know, represents death as well. And behind it is Pisces again, definitely. And on the table is Taurus. So these three signs are very significant to this reading. This person could have all of this in their chart, or it could be all, it could be three people. Because the power of three kept coming out in multiple of my readings. Um, people doing stuff in, like, the power of three. So these three people could be a Pisces, Scorpio, and a Taurus definitely or the person being attacked could have that okay let me pull on what is the energy of the person they're attacking who what, what's their sign let's see if we can maybe we can pull on some of that because i'm going to pull through my karma deck as well who are they attacking possibly a virgo and taurus again it's something significant because the other day when i did my readings virgo was so heavy in that reading and Pisces behind it again Scorpio Pisces I don't know what that is but the attacks 
cancer. I saw cancer three times, and I it must be, but um, let me pull on my karma deck as well. Let's see what this is. It's some type of ceremonial, and they could be doing some type of jar spells, jar, jar work. Did a jar break or a candle? I don't know. Doing jar work. But your jar broke or your candle broke. Okay, I have the ninth house. Spiritual values, long-range thinking or travel. What is to be shared? Ninth house. I'm trying to get you a better angle. Uh, I have Sagittarius here. Your highest ideas, ideals, sorry, wake up this morning. Um, the rules of get it out of the world and, wow. Okay, Give me one more. Please protect us through this reading. My spirit, Holy Spirit, our ancestors. We have divine protection out here. So I know that we are safe from any attacks. I have Gemini here. It's something about communication, information to explain communication about results from the fluctuation of. And I have your first house. Your first house is how you're presented, of course. It's the way you project yourself. Do it on your own. Yeah, immediate. And then I have your 12th house. And 12th house is very significant. Um, seeking one oneness with all there is. Um, philanthropy and keeping your involvement hidden like 12th house is also about um, hidden enemies as well um, definitely Gemini communication first house is how you're being presented as well and Sagittarius about your um, highest ideals so definitely ninth house is about your spiritual values so I think that's definitely um, clarifying some stuff about what this reading is going to be about yeah so somebody um let me pull on this ancestral respect to the ancestors we always pay homage especially my ancestors definitely oh yeah hey tar is intelligence Arthur, Hatar, however you pronounce it. For it, people, how they pronounce it. And I think in that Beyonce video, didn't she dress up? I believe that was one of the ones she dressed up as. Um, I believe so. But something about intelligence is definitely um, capping off this. Mm. Mm. I know people pronounce it different ways. Hatar, Hatar. I'm terrible with pronouncing names, so forgive me if people get upset, but my answer is no, definitely. It's nothing but respect. <clears throat> Get prosperity. So it could be something about your intelligence about prosperity or what you know. Like I said, we have the way you present it, which our first house and your 12th house. Genesis. This is Ta Waret. I hope I'm saying it right. This is with Genesis. This is the beginning. It's always the beginning. Definitely. Beginning was darkness. Apophis. I hope I'm saying this right. Apophis. You can see the names. I'm trying to get a better camera angle before I get me a new phone. Yeah. Give me one more spirit to kind of cap off what this is about. This energy. But I know it's something about the beginning and darkness being here because we know the beginning was nothing it was darkness boy mm, gave me three. Oh wow 
Amumut. Amumut. I saw that and I shuffled and it came out. So it's definitely something. Um, like A-M, Amumut, Amumut, Amumut. Devastation. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that properly. Let's see it. And Patat. Skills. And then I have Seth, resentment. Anubis, transformation. And we know Anubis definitely handles burial, ceremonial, definitely. Hmm. Resentment, devastation, skills, intelligence, darkness, chances, prosperity. I don't know. I was, I'm being led to look at these cards a little bit more. I, I just want to make sure. I, I wanted to show this because with all of these, you see they're looking. I hope you can see it properly. But you see they're all looking this way. See? But with Geb and Intelligence, uh, Hathar, Hathor, I hope I'm saying it properly. They're looking this way. And in the middle, let's see, you see the snake. It's looking, it's like the middle. It's the only. I'm, I'm so interested right now. It's something ceremonial. Ceremonial. And I'm hearing birds right now. I'm looking at the the bird on Geb's head. See that? I'm hearing birds outside. You could be hearing birds as well. I don't, I'm feeling like maybe somebody was in the darkness. Maybe they felt devastation or resentment. Hmm. But with the Anubis capping off at the bottom, it's definitely something ceremonial. I'm, I've been sensing that. That's why I felt I was guided to wear um, white. Definitely. I don't know what this is. I know there's there's some type of rituals going on. I'm not going to pull too much on the flashcards. I just want to... I saw that when I took them out. And um, I saw a vampire never die. <laughs> But um could be something about superheroes. A karmic woman could be involved. Maybe attacking somebody who has this. Um, they could have some type of addiction. Could even be addictions to uh, spell work as well. It could be a nurse. But um, some people don't like people who are... Um, Star seeds, supernatural. Ooh, I just I saw that and I got ready to shuffle. Supernatural powers. I'm telling you, it's some type of ceremony that they're doing. They could have a car accident. Says car crash. Ugh. Vampire never dies. Just want to shuffle them. 
Somebody's brother could have died. That's at the top of the um, card. Let me shuffle through here. I just wanna pull on what some of this is. Somebody's gonna tell on somebody in court and somebody could have done a fake welfare check on somebody. And we'll tell on somebody in court. It could be a famous person um, involved. And I have a brother that passed, the brother died, and the family is hiding it. So, somebody could have spoke too soon. This is what it opened to. So, somebody could have spoke too soon and not a cheater in life. So, you're not a cheater in life. And if you're saying 111, new beginnings, confidence within yourself. So, you could be an honest person. You're not a cheater in life. And if you're having dreams about water, it's emotions, well-being, renewal, and endeavors. It's crazy because um, I've been having a lot of uh, downloads about water. Um, something could be significant about, this is what I'm open to, something could be significant about November and um, you're going to rise above hardships, okay? And it opened to ISIS energy, definitely. So I was on, oop. Whenever stuff falls at me, I know that spirit wants me to take it. Okay, so we saw these, actually I already saw these. Somebody could already be married and it's something about forbidden fruit. So maybe they touched somebody they weren't supposed to touch. A star seed could be ego driven and upgrade you. Could have tried to upgrade themselves. Um, maybe to be famous as well. So golden heart, you could have a golden heart. And it could be something about a son or a husband. And some type of sex ritual as well involved. And it says spell work backfired is making them sick. And it could be something about uh, 1031, the day of the dead. Hope you can see it. The, um, if you can't see it, it's the day of the dead. It's um, you didn't die. So they could have tried to do some type of ritual on you, star seed, uh, sacrifice. They could have tried to sacrifice you maybe to be famous. Or a famous person could have tried to sacrifice you. This is Gematria numbers. If you type it in, your phone is Gematria calculator, I believe. Um, you can find, because um, the way a lot of these people that are in charge, um, when you put in words, words are numbers as well. The universe speaks in numbers, letters. You, I mean, you know what I'm saying. But... Um, when you spell out sacrifice, it's 73. And it could be up to 73 people involved in this as well. And all will fall before y'all look down and saw that. So whoever you are or whoever these um, superhero beings are, um, they're trying to attack you. It could be a white person, male or female. It's, they're trying to do some type of sacrifice. But you're going to rise above these hardships. Ooh, it opened to Gematria. It opened because I was looking at this and it opened to Dramatria. I'm telling you, they tried to sacrifice you with by the numbers. You healed me and my family. You could have healed these people. You could be some type of healer. Um, you have a healing touch is what's behind it. So by, somebody could have been wiretapped as well. And it could be some type of book of information coming out or they could have a book of information about you. And it could be something coming out on the news. Um, they could have tried to sacrifice you because you are a special person. Okay. Um, if you leave, I will unalive you. So you could have been with somebody who has that mentality of hurting somebody. Have second house, finances, wealth, possession. I'm telling you, they were in your birth chart. Let me get my messy writing. They were, it, it's about your birth chart. It's about what you own. That's why. But spirit is saying they will fall before you or they're going to fall before spirit. Definitely. Yeah. I have a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that came out, a female. This could be the Caucasian um, female that's attacking you. And it could have done some work on you in August as well. Because August we had 8-8, um, eight, eight, I believe, um, portal. Yeah. I set up my twin flame. Now I'm being punished. So somebody could have tried to set up a twin flame. Like I said, this could have been something relationship. Um, beauty is coming back. Your nails are growing. Vampire never dies. This is again. A cusper could be an Aries or a uh, Taurus. And I believe Taurus came out. Definitely. Definitely. T 
TKO, knockout, <laughs> but pray and play the lotto. <laughs> play the lotto, pray. So definitely um, seems like you're going to get some type of um, benefit coming. It says new message is coming. So you could have a new message coming towards you. I hope you can see my writing with this angle. And I have 6-6, six, six, which is balance, harmony, and love help cultivate a positive mindset. And you know, if you have the other six, that's Nick, that's a lower vibrational energy. But with that Seth there, it could be um, with resentment. Like I said, it could be somebody that maybe is related to you, or it could be somebody that you broke up with, and there is some type of um, yeah. drink animal blood. I'm telling you, they do rituals. This that's why I was guided today to wear this white. It's ritualistic. It's something ritual. Somebody could be unalive in a red car, or they will be, and it's night rituals, and I, I uh, jar spells, jar work, and I think somebody's jar broke or their their candle broke, because I'm seeing broken glass, like a broken jar. Um, I don't know if they put your picture in a jar, because I heard picture in a jar. What did they put in the jar? They do burial. They bury clothes. They bury your clothing. Bury your name. Hmm. But something significant about Saturday morning. Saturday mornings. They could do spell work Saturday mornings as well. Or they could meet on Saturday mornings. I have the platinum rule. Instead of treating people the way you want to be treated, you should invest time in discovering how they want to be treated. The platinum rule. Hope you can read my writing. Yeah. Somebody could be eager to see you, but they're going to be disappointed. And something significant about mail fraud and some type of illegal activities as well. Let me go through one more pass, and then I'm going to go through this top one with the night rituals. I saw this, and I shuffled, and I saw it again, corrupt judge. This could be even a corrupt judge involved in this. And the back says an older person, 50 to 70 years old. So, yeah, this could be even the ringleader. Um, it says my mother was M'd, the M-U-R-D-E-R -E word, Okay. And this one says the truth will be revealed soon. This is what it opened to. So you're going to get some communication or the truth will be, ooh. Famous person hid their children out of wedlock. I'm telling you, it's something, it's somebody famous. It could be, it could be without dramatria, it's sacrificial. And that's why I think I was guided to wear white. But it's a group, a cult of men. This is some type of cult of men involved. And remove all blockages of spell work. It was behind it. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know if they do these rituals on Saturday. Ooh, this this is a reading I did on here. It's called um, Pensions for Magic. It's like somebody is like, it, it's like a favoring. It's like this desire. It's, it's almost like a job of doing magic. And we're drinking animal blood, this group. I'm telling you, it's something ceremonial. But their spell work is being blocked, whatever this group of males. And they could wear white when they're doing ceremony. They could even be doing some type of burial ceremonies or something for you. But they also do illegal activities as well. Okay? And maybe even some uh, mail fraud. So that may be the information you're getting. But it's something significant about Saturday morning. Something so significant about Saturday morning. And they could do night rituals as well. But it's somebody famous involved in this situation, definitely. And um, this one is unbreakable people are real. I'm telling you, superhero unbreakable people are real. Yes. And they could have some type of suppressed anger. These people could be an angry group of men. But you're going to get poetic justice. And their names could begin with an A, B, C, or D. Or this could even be um, the letters of what their cult is is called. It could be, the name could be begin with an A. It could begin with a B, C. Oh, devil worship. I didn't look at devil worship. 
Yeah, they devil worship. This isn't divine worship. This is devil worship and uh, ritualistic magic. Ritualistic magic, devil worship. Nighttime rituals. I'm telling you, dark jar spells. Um, a group, a cult of men. They drink animal blood. Um, I was guided to wear this. And it could be famous people involved. And it could be about hiding a child or something. Or they could do something with children, some type of sacrifice. And it could have been started by maybe a, a corrupt judge. And I even look at the back of it. A former mayor could be involved as well. So this is higher level people. But it says stay away. So. Look, mask off. That's the top of it. Mask off. I'm trying to tell you it's 2003 could be significant. They could have um, done something in 2003 or that maybe when they started this group or something. But it's definitely um, famous people involved in this. And oh, look at this. This is how it opened in my hand. Let me show you. I hope you can see. 2003 again and likes younger looking people. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's something ceremonial. I saw unsolved. Love is here. Maybe that's why they're attacking you because if you're of the divine, it's definitely love here. Okay? Love this planet is love is the answer. Love is the answer. Divine love. 404. If you're seeing this angel number, a strong foundation, inner strength, life purpose. This is what they're trying to stop, I believe. Is divine love, purpose, overflow of love. Look at this. Look. This is at the top. It says charge with crimes unrelated to plea or immunity deal. So, so maybe somebody took some type of plea deal. Maybe for the crimes. Um, illegal activity came out and it says all blockages are removed. This is what fell on the table. And plea deal for testimony against the leader. <gasps> Somebody could have told on the leader. And it's a corrupt judge. And worried is behind it. They could be worried. Maybe because people are awakening. This is awakening. Maybe people are awakening. Wow. It's crazy. But I look down, and this is the one I saw. Look. Overflow of love. New friends, new love. Maybe that's why. But somebody could have told on this leader. Maybe that's why it's coming to the surface like this. Give me one more spirit. It's a group. 415, time to manifest your dreams. So whoever you are, play the lotto. You're going to manifest some amazing dreams. And somebody could have been born in 1977, or this could even be the year this group started. 2003 and 1977. The backup was 2003. I didn't even look at it. 19, this, is the, this is three times that one came out. Definitely heartless. Heartless. And somebody's going to pass in their sleep and eat a mouse ritual they do rituals with mouse or drinking animal blood they eat mouse eat mice excuse me let me speak properly eat mice and something with drinking blood but somebody's going to pass in their sleep possibly even this leader but their phone calls were monitored and it was about bribery oh so somebody's snitching Ooh, this might be about my um i wonder if this is Cause I did some snitch chronicles on here and some of this stuff came out so this may even be somewhat related I think but somebody could be doing a prank call or they could have prank called you but you have to look it open to psychic abilities you have psychic abilities but somebody's phone call was murdered uh, murder <gasps> why did I say that somebody could have had a phone call about our uh, M situation and so maybe they recorded, but somebody got bribed. This is bribery, and the phone call was monitored. And somebody did a plea deal, but they're being charged with crimes unrelated to that plea deal. And somebody is, is, took a plea deal to testify against a leader. 
It could even be a famous leader. I'm trying to tell you. Go through here one more time because this is forbidden sex and heal your heart. It could be something, like I said, they do sex rituals as well. And younger people, they like younger people. So forbidden sex and heal your heart. Ooh. Whenever stuff falls in my lap, I know spirit wants me to take it because I probably might have skipped something. Come save my life. I'm telling you. 888, success, prosperity, abundance. And I would give the world to, a way to have you by my side. So somebody really loves you and there's some type of prosperity coming in and I am greatness. Oh, wow. 611, if you're seeing that angel number, it's a uh, positive attitude, have faith. Yeah, because you're not losing any money. You're an innocent person. So maybe somebody is trying to frame you for something. But with this forbidden sex here, it's definitely some forbidden sex. It could be sex with their, even their own sibling. See? Child sacrifice rituals and sex with their own siblings. And a fire cop was a part of it. That was all what fell down there. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a little indigestion. I drank some really strong coffee this morning. Wow. Sorry, this is going to be a little bit more of a longer reading. Because I really wanted to pull on what this ceremonial energy was. Um what this is about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me pull on um, my star seed. I've been guided to pull on star seed and see. Because they're definitely attacking superhero energy. Definitely attacking superhero energy. Divine, divine star seed energy. I want to see. I fell on the table. Give me one more spirit. I'm going to pull on what this is. And you have psychic abilities. Okay, it's stuck in my hand. So, um, ooh. It says, I'm sorry, defenselessness, right, uh, righting the past wrongs, uprooting. This is what turned over. I'm sorry. Somebody could be coming towards you, Starcy, to apologize. And lifting the veil, questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. Hope you can see it. Try to get this angle better with my camera. Star family, you are part of a team of souls call in support. Divine spirit, Holy Spirit, we call in all support of our ancestors, our divine family. Please protect. Please give us the knowledge and the wisdom that we need to make it through this journey and protect us from all evil, negative energy and return it to the sender 10 times. perspective none of this matters zone out common ground look at that it says forge don't follow pave a new path be a leader you wish you had and I return that back to those who um it opened to the seven the seven star sisters birthing creation tapestry of life expression. You see, they're dancing in the stars in the sky. Look at that! That is so beautiful. Oh, I don't even want to put this deck down. It's just so beautiful. Star brothers, Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. Come through. I'm trying to tell you. Ooh wee. Let's pull on this wisdom oracle.
back up off me. Grab some seats. <laughs> Divine gonna bring them to their knees to back up off me. Have some seats. Divine's gonna bring them to their knees. So your best bet is to stay away. Because ain't nobody trying to play. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Wow. I have yin energy. And it was like this. Yeah. I have breath, unfinished symphony, and flexibility. So, feminine energy with this pink. Oh, I love my pink. I feel like maybe there's something unfinished, uh, divine feminine. And what you see with her meditating? In the clouds, I, I really think this really is about divine feminine energy and how, and what kind of leader, because I came out, what kind of leader you're going to be if you're flexible enough. Yeah, why? Chop wood, yeah, you're going to have to cut some things out. Chop wood and new life. Why chop wood, new life? Yeah. Maybe you're asking why me or why is this happening? Hmm. But there's a new life for you. You're gonna have to cut some things out. Yeah, truth be told. Speak your truth. Hmm. Yang, help it to Yang. Yang. Mm. Just come to the edge. No place like home. Feel like you're being called divine feminine even to cut things out of your life with this chop wood i keep looking at this 42 you could be in your 40s but there's something unfinished and it could be with this yang energy divine feminine you too it could be a new life with somebody or because love kept coming out maybe you're here to raise the vibration of love the last card I got was uh, No Place Like Home 50. Your Divine Masculine could be 50 and you could be um, 42. But it's something significant with both of those energies coming out. It could be something that was uh, past life and this is a new life with you two and there's no place like home. But there's something unfinished. Yeah. Tick tock time it's timing clean up it's clean up clean up of this earth is what I heard yeah to be fair to be fair behind it is higher power I'm telling you this is divine hmm This why is maybe you're asking why me, but it's something that is being made fair, it's something being cut out. And it's about timing with you, with this yin energy and this yang energy. It's like a balancing flexibility. Come to the edge. Maybe you had some type of setbacks before. But this time it's gonna go. You know, whenever I see there's no place I come, I always think of Dorothy. 
you know, the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just I, it always comes to my head. There's no place like home. She clicks her, uh, her ruby red shoes. Originally, I think they said the shoes were silver, I believe. If I remember correctly, I believe the shoes were silver. And in the movie, they made them red or something like that. Don't quote me, but um, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Okay, all that fell out, so. Yeah. Wow. All this fell on the table, so we gonna take it. I have, ooh wee. So I have High Priestess, Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords. So you, there could have been some type of heartbreak or you could have had a painful ending or you could have felt betrayed. And then I have the Eight of Cups. So this is some type of disappointment. Maybe you left this heartbreak behind, this betrayal behind with the ace of wands here so this is the desire it could be a new beginning for you growth let me show you this this is how it came in my hand look i flipped it over this is how it started some type of betrayal heartbreak and you see she's being stabbed in the back so she could have turned into this queen of swords or you could be an air energy look at that but you're definitely high priestess. This is higher knowledge. This is wisdom. This is this is higher wisdom, if you get what I'm saying. Secret holder. This could be what your purpose is. And you've left all this stuff behind, you see? Whenever you see this card, it's like whatever's behind me, I'm leaving it behind. It's moving towards the future, turning your back on all of that. So you could have left your left all that heartbreak all this stabbed in the back, whatever this is, painful ending, you could have went through something really painful that probably just literally had you laid out. I'm just gonna keep it real. Um, we all have, you know, gone through some really bad heartbreak and could have been seriously wounded. But you being a high priestess, I'm telling you, you knew divine was coming. You knew this is divinely, it's something more. Like I say, you could have turned into the queen of swords on people, but, then I had Ace of Wands. So like I said, you could be really desiring to create something new. This is growth, expansion. And then you have that Six of Wands. That's victory and success. Look at that. Ooh, every time I see this one, I love this one. Some type of public recognition could be good news, but you riding in on that horse. You know what I'm saying? But this is going to be a feminine energy riding in on that horse. Go ahead. Yeah, the bottom of the deck is three of swords. So you were heartbroken. You know, some type of disloyalty betrayal. Because the ten of swords and three of swords. Yeah, definitely. With the seven of cups. Yeah, somebody could have, you know. Ooh, let me hold this properly. Like I said, you could have made some bad choices. Maybe you were under some type of illusion or something, but it's definitely disloyalty happened with you. Yeah. Could even been confusion, you know, especially with people doing spell work and everything else. But yeah. But you got this Ace of Pentacles here. Oh, yes. So, like I said, with the Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, there's definitely something amazing coming towards you. Victory, success. The universe is definitely giving you something amazing. This right here is could be a new job, new venture, self, you know, um, growth is, is what I'm hearing. Prosperity. Yeah. With the Nine of Wands, like I said, you could have been persistent about this. You could have put up boundaries after this heartbreak. You know, I heard stand your ground, stand your ground to anybody coming towards you. And you got a knight in shine armor coming in. This person could even be coming in to help protect you as well. 
because love is the vibration we're moving towards and these people probably didn't want that to happen with this whatever this is and I feel like this is similar to the other reading with the spiritual union that's coming into the universe or is coming in front of um, oh yes look at this see that seven of pentacles and lovers yeah so it's something long term it's like a spiritual union it's a and you know with the lovers it's like almost like opposites it's that yin and yang energy as well wow so it could be like i said you two could be stronger working together it's long term he's coming in as a knight of cups this knight in shining armor type energy towards you that may be what you've been working towards is something long-term like that with the Seven of Pentacles. Definitely Pentacles represents uh, money. Yeah. But this Ace of Pentacles is definitely, I mean, that's just divine with the Strength card. You could have needed strength, courage. You could have shown strength and courage. But this person, oh, wow. Yeah, with this higher font. I'm telling you, this is some type of religious institution that it could be attacking um, you two individuals. This spiritual union is, is some type of belief system. I'm telling you, with that corrupt judge here, also, this is institutional. You know what I'm saying? To even stand up to these people of the world, completion. I'm this is spiritual. This is absolute injustice is behind it. Let me tell you, justice is behind it. Whoa, that is literally equaling stuff out. That's fairness. To be fair is what I heard because to be fair came out. Yeah. And your divine um, union could be with this king of wands or this person is going to get justice. This is a fire energy. Yeah. And the fool is behind it. So maybe they're going to have a new beginning as well with you. This could be that yang energy. But definitely a divine union. Something divine. It's something, it's something, and it could be seen by the world. This justice. But this is religious. This is it, this is religious uh thinking, higher level commitment. This is institutional. With this fool here, new beginning in this king of wands. So this could be this leader. It's it's a it's a, a natural type leader figure, and they're visionary. They're, you know, uh more entrepreneurial type leader but it's a visionary type leader could be coming towards you maybe you two are the yin and yang with that lovers coming out but it's definitely something religious belief system i'm telling you with the ceremonial definitely religious belief system definitely yeah definitely religious belief system Ooh, open to the four of wands so some type of reunion marriage maybe proposal with this person do you guys know each other six of cups it opened with the six of cups there there's some type of nostalgia maybe maybe you guys even known each other since childhood but yeah maybe you guys are familiar with each other as well hmm queen of wands behind it now you're coming out as each other's counter oh wow look Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Could one of the women attacking you been a queen of wands? This could be this king of wands family member, or you could be coming out as their counter. And then I have the ten of cups. This is bliss. This is this is divine love and the star. That's healing. That's a good omen. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is what it is. You're finally coming out. You guys are coming out as each other's counter. And it's going to be a happy family. And it's healed. It's some type of healing that's that's coming. Oh, that's beautiful. But it could have been somebody spying. And it's a queen of cups behind it. Yeah. This could have been the person spying. You could even be getting a message about this person spying because I had wiretap and some other stuff as well. This could have been the person in between to destroy this union, maybe. It's a queen of cups. It's a water energy. Yeah, ten of wands. So they're burdened. Yeah. 
It could be weighed down, overloaded, all of that. With the Herman here, it could be some type of investigation going on. Or, you know, like I said, um, this person maybe is some type of introspection as well. But you're going to get some maybe some message about it. But I have the Eight of Wands, so something could be coming quick. Even about this person's spine. Maybe they're burdened right now because of the spine. But they're stressed out. And they could have been spying to make sure this union didn't happen between you two. Three of Cups, yeah. Like I said, this is some type of collaboration. She could be working with these other people. But you guys are going to celebrate with this Three of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like the Five of Cups. So they're going to have, maybe they're having some type of setback or something from all the hard work they put in to maybe spy, destroy this with the Eight of Swords. That's self, that's like imprisonment. And that's like lack mindset. This is like a self imprisonment as well. Yeah, restricted. Maybe they're going to be restricted for a long time or it's going to be slow. <laughs> With this Knight of uh, Wands, excuse me, Knight of Pentacles, forgive me, Eight of Swords. Yeah, that's my imprisonment card as well. This person really could have a, a negative mindset, maybe you against love, and there could be grieving right now with this Five of Cups. Bereavement, like I said, it's some type of ceremonial. Yeah. It could even be a mother figure. I have an Earth sign here. Queen of Pentacles could be two women involved, it could be a mother and maybe even another woman involved in whatever they were doing. But this normally is like a mother figure, it's um, it's a parental, it's like security, you know. What I mean, financial uh, security type feminine energy as well, nurturer, yeah. So, oh, okay, so they could be grieving and really be kind of like. In this mindset this restricted mindset because of this ace of cups so this love offer could even be a proposal maybe even a baby coming in but this is this seems to be what what's uh burdening them what's burdening them could be because of this because of this knight of pentacles they work so hard and they may have invested so much in this collaboration with this three of cups to block this yeah Ten of Wands, yeah, Queen of Cups. So there's a Queen of Cups in your energy, a Water Sign Feminine, and a Queen of Pentacles, an Earth Sign Feminine. And I believe this may be a mother figure that seems to have um, been working really hard, even with this group, to make sure that this Four of Wands does not happen. This reunion, yeah. But this King of this King of Wands and Queen of Wands. You guys are coming out as each other's counter with this Ten of Cups. That's divine love. That's bliss. That's happiness with the star behind it. This is this is not something that they can take away. This is definitely divine. This is divine. Superhero. Superhero. Divine star seed. I'm trying to tell you. They can't they can't change that. And with you having this six of cups, the feeling. I heard the feeling is mutual. So you and her both could have, you, you and your divine could both be reminiscing about each other. You could have really good feelings about each other and these people can't stop that. Oh, that may be why they're burdened because they can't stop that. Knight of Cups again, you want to propose, you're going to come in as a knight in shining armor. Whoa, you're taking that fool journey. Ooh, king. Knight of Swords. So you're coming in quick. You're driven to come towards this Divine Feminine. Nine of Pentacles. This is self-sufficient, independent, financially stable. You could be financially stable. This Feminine could be financially stable. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to make this this long. <laughs> but I had to pull on what this ceremonial energy is and what this is. And... But somebody's jar broke. I don't know if it's the candle or the jar spells. But whatever rituals they've been doing, it, it's, it's coming to an end. Um, and um, I looked up uh, funeral, wearing white to a funeral. So 
Um, it could be something significant about um, maybe somebody even passing in um, uh, some type of funeral ritual as well. So this is Divine Soul Empress 333. Please like and subscribe. And to my soul tribe, to meet again, same time, same frequency. Thank you.